Hello students. I hope you understood the concept of uh, solving the projection of circular lamina with a 3D model in my previous video. In this video, you are going to see how we are going to be solving the same problem with the solidate softwares. So let's initially we can go for drawing the circular lamina with the thickness is 0.5 then we are going to draw the diagonals or the diameters for the circular lamina the thickness should be 0.13 as soon as we create a circular lamina or any lamina give its dimensions so here i will be taking a b c d from the previous sheet to avoid to reduce time so copying and pasting it a dash b dash c dash d dash let's project its top view top view is going to be line view all this projection should be thin line 0.13 mm thickness and in the top view the thickness should be 0.5 let's trim uh, the excess line a is a is visible d is visible b is not c is visible in front view it looks like a 15 mm so previous video it was rectangle looks like a square here circle looks like an ellipse so we can project it it can be either way you can draw a rectangle which is uh, 15 where this height is 30 let's keep it here and then select it move it let's move it with respect to the end point because we need to drag it from here course is nothing but the projection points so this one becomes extra line trim it so it should be thin lines 0.13 the distance is 15 mm so project it here thin lines even we can draw directly an ellipse initially by 15 diameter 30 but let's go by drawing it rectangle projections like because this is for understanding purpose otherwise you can directly go with ellipse then let's go cut an arc radius is 30 cut an arc let's trim the excess lines line point 0.5 end point end point symbol yes we got it we shall find the surface inclination which is nothing but 5 let's move this a here bd here then c here i need not find the distance between a and b distance because it is exactly at the midpoint of the line so go for midpoint is now on let's go for lines midpoint projecting it till here so this should be 0.13 yes let's go for ellipse by center point 0.5 intersection point select it major axis end point major axis end point let's drag the annotations by pressing the control let's keep the annotations nearer to the points now one end of the minor axis both hp and vp so 
we shall take the five value v it is 60 degrees all the projection lines should be thin lines only the front view top view should be thick lines so a is on both hp and vp i need to make it so i need to select a point let's select only the ellipse along with the construction line it will be easy for rotating it move it paste it right click go to rotate end point and select this if you have drawn the ellipse this will be a difficult that's why let the rectangle be there then midpoint let's project it this is nothing but the minor axis this is major axis it should be thin lines let's take the annotations we should not keep it here because one end is on both hpvp so c should be above the xy line only a should be on the xy line a dash here b dash c dash is already there d dash then go for thin lines 0.13 we shall going to be drawing its top view project it make sure it is horizontal line which is 0 degrees then project it d to d that is c point to c we can even drag it or we can make use of the mirror then again go for ellipse by center point go for midpoint sometimes it will give error so it's better to remove that midpoint we want to take the intersection point intersection end point and here we got the end point select it 0.5 mm thickness let's keep the annotations a is here b is here c is here c and this one is d let's trim the excess line hope you understood the method of solving it on the solid edge thank you for watching and have a good day